Hello, friends, and welcome to another edition of Queer and Present Danger, where I, your host, Justin Elizabeth Sayer, march you through some small complaint I have about the world as the world falls apart. Now, usually I save these little complaints for some kind of celebrity rivalry or a terrible episode of some Ryan Murphy mistake, but this week I've decided to take on something a little more serious. As some of you may know, we've elected a new president, and the old one doesn't seem to like that too much. <laughs> but you know what? I want to see that man cry. Actually, I'd like to see that man put on a spit and boiled in his own juices. But barring that, I just want to see it all fall down around him. Now, You've noticed, if you're watching the news, which we've all been glued to these last few days, that already there's becoming this trend of Republicans, former, current, stupid, telling us that we as liberals, as people who elected Joe Biden, have to feel sorry about our joy. We have to remember the 70 million people that voted for this lying, rapist Cheeto in the White House. We have to tamper it down because we're going to have to work with these people. And shouldn't we be gracious winners? Well, I'd like to say, fuck you. Fuck you, you fucking fucks. Because for four fucking years, we've sat around and been lied to, manipulated, and told that everything's fine when everything's fucking falling apart. So right now, if I want to feel a little happy that we have been, we've ended a slow march towards sloppy fascism, I'm going to fucking take it. And I'm going to take it with gay abandon and glee. I'm going to dance in the street. I'm going to tell that motherfucker to fuck off again every single day of my life. And I'm never going to forget the rudeness and the cruelty that you put us all through. Now, 70 million of you may think that I'm just rubbing it in your faces. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm doing. Because you need to have it rubbed in your faces. You voted for a man that cheated you at every turn. That lied to you at every turn. That is responsible for 100,000 deaths in this country. That put kids in cages and robbed 545 children of their parents. That sold out this country to the Russians that denied the rights of trans people at every turn, that gave corporate money back to the wealthy class while millions of people in this country were piled into poverty, that took the brakes off the EPA so that we could all careen towards an environmental crisis of which none of us are prepared. So I'm sorry. If right now you're feeling a little glum because your guy lost. But here's the deal, and I'm going to tell you this straight up. I may not like you. I may not ever forget what you did to this country. But I'm going to fight for you because in fighting for the things I care about, like environmental justice, like racial justice, like social justice, like sexual justice, like women's reproductive rights, I'm actually doing you a fucking favor. I'm putting you first, because those things will improve your lives. I don't have to sell you on it anymore, because you know what? You need clean water, you need clean air, and in 70 years, I'd like your children not to be eating each other. So if you're a little upset that I'm a little gleeful that for four fucking years I can maybe listen to someone who's not lying to me at every turn, who's not telling me that the world is upside down when I know full well it's not, then too fucking bad. Grow up. Grow up and get in the game. Learn the science. Learn to be with us. Because we're not fighting to punish you. I don't care if you want to give your money to some mega church in the South where some guy thinks he can blow away the coronavirus. Oh, yeah? How'd that work out? Mm. I'm not mad because you want to, I don't know, wear long dresses and eat at a Crackle Barrel. Go fucking do your thing. 
I want us to survive. I want people to have health care. I want people to not fear for their lives at every moment like they have for the last four years. So you know what? If I'm a little gleeful, if I'm a little happy that right now that fat fuck rapist is getting kicked out of the White House, then fucking deal with it. And if you don't like it and you don't want to sit at my table, don't. But you see, as a liberal, I don't care. I don't need you to sit at my table. I don't need you to be my friend. I just need you to get out of the fucking way. So don't tell me that I'm celebrating too hard. Don't tell me that I am too gleeful in this moment. Because for four years, I have listened to nothing but bullshit. And I've been driven to despair at every turn. And if I want to dance, if I want to fucking dance right now, because at least we have somebody honest, and at least we have somebody that looks like parts of this country, and at least we don't have a fucking raging racist in the White House, then I'm sorry. You know what? You're just going to have to let me fucking dance. Now, I know that may be a hard lesson for us all to hear with Christmas and other holidays to ruin just right around the corner. But you know what, kids? You want to dance? Go fucking dance. And don't let Rick Santorum or Megyn Kelly or fucking Megan McCain tell you different. Now is the time to celebrate. Now is the time to get serious and get to work and get these 70 million people to apologize to us. Being a liberal isn't a bad word, because let me tell you, without liberals, you wouldn't have any of the things you really count on now. And I'm not going to apologize for being glad that this man is gone. And neither should you. We've lived through enough. Let's have a fucking dance party. Have a good night. I'll see you on January 21st when we swear in Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and we start a new chapter. I love you. Good night.